They condemned me to death and at the last moment, when we had actually been tied up to poles in the middle of the night, in the middle of nowhere, uh, a car came speeding toward us. One of my interrogators named Ali got out of it. He came, he untied me from the pole, threw me in his car, car and drove away. He said to me that uh, you are a prisoner, you're a woman, you're nobody, you have no rights, and I want you to marry me. A woman in the Middle East is supposed to be able to handle everything. You do not ask for help. I decided to write. That seemed the logical thing to do. I either had to go jump off a bridge or I had to do something and I had to do it by myself. So I lived that. This, this didn't mean that I was released. I was still in prison. I spent months in solitary confinement. I spent my days reading the available books all, all about Islam and I spent uh, the nights with my interrogator husband. Ali was assassinated by a rival faction of the, gov of a, of the government. They, used, they killed each other all the time back then. His family, I think, bribed my way out or used the, their influence, but they got me out. And I went back home to my family. And the first night, you know, the first day I got back home, we took a I took a shower, I got into clean clothes, and then I watched in astonishment as my parents talked about the weather. They didn't know what to say. I wrote my memoir as my own experience as my personal experience and the experience of a 16 17 year old girl going through extraordinary times it took me years to fight and to get a passport and they finally gave me a passport but it was obvious that we had to leave so we left and we came to canada it wasn't easy to get here but we made it Gradually, very slowly, things got a little better. I found a part-time job at McDonald's and a little bit more money. Then we managed to get our parents, my, my parents here. We were starting to kind of feel normal, like Canadians. But that was when I guess all that mental energy that didn't have to be concentrated on survival had to go somewhere. I guess my book is an invitation to everybody to start being a little bit more tolerant toward one another because we have seen what intolerance does. And we, I, we have all seen what happens when we try to justify horrible things.